You mad for what? You mad for what? I'm giving up, I'm giving up on love. See you mad for what? You mad for what? Cause I'm giving up, I'm giving up on us. You mad for what? You mad for what? Yo, so what up, man? It's your man, Playboy Neat. AKA the Tatter Wolf Dog, and I'm back with another video. I told you guys on Instagram, to yo, ask me some Q and A questions. You put me in on the Q and A in a minute. I was like, why not do it? And I was like, I'm gonna film it today after I just got out of dance. And I was like, man, why not, man? It's hot outside and the water feels good. I was like, man, let me come out to the pool. So we're gonna do the Q and A in the pool today type shit. You feel me? I got quite a few questions. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to them all, but hopefully I get to your questions. If I don't, maybe I'll you know add them in in the next Q and A I do somewhere on down the line. But go ahead, hit that like button, and man. Let's just get into the video. First question, what made you go by the name Playboy? I feel like this is a really asked question a lot on social media. So listen, as a kid, obviously I'm a singer, right? So like as a kid, and even now, like I was seeing, you know, some girls, some girls love guys that can sing. So they were like, oh shit, you can sing. So I always had girls around me or just somewhere like near type shit. Like when I was younger, there's like, oh, girls are always come up to me. Oh my God, sing something, sing something, sing something. And now they be like, oh, so I sing something, sing something. So like people would see me with girls all the time. And people be like, oh, you dating them? What's going on? I'd be like, no, I'm not dating them. Like they just around me because they like to hear me sing type shit or they think I'm attractive type shit. So one day somebody was like, oh man, you look a little playboy. I was like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? And at, at first I used to hate being called playboy. It used to bother me. Cause I was like, bro, you're like, it up for like what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? I can't get in a relationship with you calling me Playboy. But then I learned to like the name, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, you know, I do like the name, it's kind of dope, you feel me? So Playboy just came along with that. And I was like, man, why not keep the name type shit? For me? So that's that's where Playboy came from. Long story short, but now y'all know y'all can stop asking that question. Next question Do you have a girlfriend? No, I am currently single. I know y'all saw my last video about a sneaky link, you feel me? But let me just get y'all ahead. So I only did that as a prank type shit on Emma. That that girl's not actually my sneaky link type shit. I don't even know her like that. That was like my first time meeting her. So it's for content purposes. But I am single type shit, you feel me? You know, so love me one day, somebody, you know. I would love to be loved, you know. Just saying. Type shit. I'm moving a hell of a lot. Let me just stand one day. Jesus Christ. Next question. If you had to travel somewhere in the world, where would you go? But I want to take a trip to Bali and I want to take a trip to Dubai. But here's the crazy thing though. See, the group that I'm in, me and my brothers, right? We trail. Yo, we just dropped our new music video, by the way. Right there. Make sure y'all go watch it. But we're actually going to Dubai. And uh, uh, actually, soon we have a show in Dubai. Chris Brown's going to be in Dubai sometime, I think, like next month or something like that. Or maybe a little, maybe a little down the line. But we're going to be on a show with Chris Breezy out in Dubai. So I was like, I get to go to one of my favorite places type shit like right now. You know what I'm saying? Dubai is the, like, the one I'm really excited about. And then Bali, I want to go. But I don't want to go to Bali by myself. I feel like Bali is some couples type shit. And I don't have a girlfriend. So I'm going to probably be waiting on that trip for a while. Damn, the sun just came out. I mean, I look good though. Hold on. Beige in the dark skin glory. All right, let me stop. Next question. Do you want kids right now? Hell no. In the future? Yeah, I'm a family man. I love, I feel like I want a big family. I keep telling y'all this, bro. I want whoever my wife to be, bro, that I want her family, her side of the family and my side of the family to come over our house like every Sunday, bro, bring their kids or whatever, and just have like a big Sunday dinner like every Sunday. If not every Sunday, at least once every month on a Sunday. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I really love that because I want to I wanna be able to be really close with her family. I want her to be really close with my family. You feel me? Like, I'm just really, really big on family. Next question. Oh, my God, bro. What the f <laughs> I'm going to read it. Why not? If I had the chance, could I get it? No. <laughs> I'm be real with you. No. Here is why. I won't hook up with a supporter, but I do love you. Keep supporting. And two is just, no, I'm just not doing that. I don't just do hookups type shit, you feel me? Next question. How long have I been, how long have I been, how long have you been singing for? Um, I've been singing since I was three years old. Professionally singing, like had songs and stuff like that. So I was like 11. 11 is when I met this guy named Sonny. And Sonny had made me, like, helped me record my first song ever. It's called You're Beautiful. I remember that song. You're beautiful. And yeah, that crap. Oh, that boy. Next question. What's your favorite color? Blue. 
Blue is my favorite color, hands down. Listen to me. Blue will always be my favorite color for two main reasons. One, I love the color blue. It looks really good on me. And two, just for some other stuff I won't get into, but just know I love the color blue. Um, if you weren't singing, what would you be doing? Many people don't really notice about me, but like, if I wasn't singing, or like if I wasn't doing anything in entertainment business at all, I would prob I would have probably like went on to be a soccer player, bro. If y'all don't know, soccer is my favorite sport, bro. It was either gonna be soccer or lawyer. When I was in when I was in school, before I got out, while I got out of school, I used to. I was actually in ninth grade. I started studying heavy to become a lawyer, and then I started playing soccer. And I was like, damn, I really want to be a soccer player. Like I could actually go to college for this. I actually had. Um, Lincoln University in Kansas City actually look at me for a scholarship for soccer. So I was like, oh shit, like, this is kind of dope. I'm not even in college yet. I'm not even out of high school and they want to you know, give me a soccer team. So soccer was really, really big for me. So I probably would be doing soccer or a lawyer if it wasn't anything entertainment business at all. But if I was still in an entertainment business and like it wasn't singing, I'd be an actor. I love acting. I think acting is fun as f Being somebody you not like for a movie and then going back and watching it, I'm like, oh my God, bro, I remember this. Like, being on set, being around all these celebrities and other people, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably do that. Like, that's, that's like hella fun to me. Next question, what is your favorite meal? I don't know, but I like anything hot. I don't think I have a favorite meal. Wait, no, no, it's cap. I have two favorite meals. I have a Hispanic meal that I love, and then I have an American. My favorite Hispanic meal is probably arroz con pollo. Damn, what is it? Is it, I think it's called, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Why can't I think of it? It's either arroz con pollo or pasole. That's what it is, pasole. And then my American meal, this might sound racist, but chicken, it's not because I'm black. I just like chicken. I think chicken's really good. If you don't like chicken, you're stupid, bro. Next question, who taught you Spanish? Something y'all also know about me, and some of y'all new subscribers may not know. I am actually half Hispanic. I am actually mixed with Mexican and Cherokee Indian, so I'm black, Cherokee, Indian, and Mexican. I've always kind of been around my uncles when I was younger. He spoke Spanish, and then I grew up and just kind of and learned it for myself and like took it on more because at first i used to at first i only knew i like, hanging around my family i only knew certain words in spanish i always understood it never could really speak it when i was younger but then i got older started talking more started understanding more and now i speak it more fluently now here's the thing about me y'all might not know i actually love to speak spanish more than i love to speak english but i'm the only one out of my siblings who knows fluent spanish so i don't have them to talk to but that's why i love talking to, like other hispanic people because i actually get to speak spanish back like i think it's mad and fun i love it so much i do not like speaking english i hate when people know what i'm talking about that's a little little trick for you type shit. all right yo we have to move to the other side of the jacuzzi because i was right in the sun and my phone shut off i don't even know what question we left on so I'm, if i missed that question i'm sorry i'm just gonna keep on to the next question next question who is your damn bro why are you swimming like that it's not kicking so much i can kick your ass in the head anyway <laughs> anyway who is your celebrity crush? Bro, most of y'all won't believe me when I say this, but I don't think I could be more serious. My, my hair messed up in high school. I don't think I could be more serious when I say this, but I don't have a celebrity crush, bro. I don't, like, I don't, I don't, it's not that I don't find some women attractive. I do, don't get me wrong, but I can't, I, I don't have a celebrity crush, bro, I just don't. I would say who I think is one of the baddest, you know, celebrities that I'm like, damn, fine as hell, like, she looks nice type shit. For me, it's Selma Hayek. I, Salma Hayek will probably be it for me. Don't nobody notice about me, man. I'm Latinas, just, oh my God. <sighs> I won't even get into that. That's another another story for another time. Damn, bro. I probably need to, I probably need to do the rest of this shit my hand. Or, oh, it's, it's hot as hell. I can't be looking through it on camera, so bro. Hat back on. If you had to pick three celebrities, who would you f marry or kill? Bro, damn. Mary kill our three celebrities. Um, I'd probably marry Selma Hayek, probably smash J Lo, and then I'd kill off Coyle Ray. Not that she's ugly, she just not my type. She's so f small, bro. Like a woman like that, I would break in an instant. Like I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't have it. I can't just type shit. Oh, sorry, Coyle Ray, man. No, no hate. You know what I'm saying? I like your music. I just, I can't do it. You really can't do it. Uh, bro, what I just say, bro? Bro, what I just say, bro? All right, I'm back. Had to go over there and fade him up real quick. You see, he, you can't see him, but he over there face down in the pool right now. Who is your favorite artist? Hands down, Elvis. Who's my favorite artist of all time? Elvis is my favorite artist of all time, hands down. That's like no question about it. 
Who's my favorite artist right now? I got three though. Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, and The Weeknd are my favorite three artists right now. And it's so weird, I just recently started liking The Weeknd. Like, I liked his music, I just never really cared about him like that. But like, listening to him more, I'm like, damn, bro, I got some fire ass songs that I'm stuck. So like, I know y'all probably weird, like, oh my God, you ain't naming no rappers. Bro, I got favorite rappers. I like The Baby and Lil Baby and King Von and all that stuff, but I don't listen to rap like that a lot. Like I do, but then I don't. I don't like listening to rap because that shit put me in a bad headspace. I didn't want to. He's been here, but I'm just banging, so I try not to listen to that stuff no more. Like heavy like that. I still listen to it, but like not heavy as I used to. Last question. Uh, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Oh, music. Oh. Have you ever. What the f was that? My bad. Fly came. Would you ever or have you ever used toys in the bedroom? Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I don't wanna speak on my sexual relations. So that's a question I'm gonna have to not answer. And yeah. Hey man, appreciate y'all coming in for the video, man. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. I'm gonna catch y'all in this video. Make sure y'all go follow my Instagram at Dominic Cutrell. We out this thing, you feel me? I'm in love with you, baby. But I'm done with you, baby. Up or not, I wait through on this fire. Now you're ignoring me, baby. Uh, checking my phone for evidence. Bringing up shit that's irrelevant. Nah, Signing for the elephant, and also tell you I'm through with it. I was a pimp, I was stuck in it. Past life, on some other shit. Met you when I was done with it. Chased up.